out on court now for the warm-up. This women's doubles semi-final between the team from China. Tang Yuanting and Yu Yang up against the Danes. Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rutuyul. Here is Rutuyul, 32 years of age. And with Pedersen, the reigning European champions, silver medalist at the Worlds in 2015, and Pedersen, a bronze medalist in the mixed doubles at the London Olympics. This is the way they have come through to the semi-final stage, and they've played very well during the tournament, Peter Blackburn. Yeah, certainly have. Um, have some very strong performances uh, by the Danes to get through to the semi-final and uh, they're in really good form and for China they're warming up that is Yu Yang 30 years of age the most experienced of the Chinese team Tang Yuan Ting only 22 years of age her partner 30 years of age and has already achieved so much they are the number two team in the world they have come through very well they lost one match in the group play to the Koreans Chung and Lee and won their quarterfinal in straight games yeah and that's a re very good win for them in the quarterfinal against uh, Mazuwari and uh, Polly uh, a very accomplished pair there and won it in straight games 21 11 21 14 you would expect this to be a very close contest with a lot of experience out there on the court yeah there certainly is um, both pairs have uh, been competing for extens extensive time um, over the years and uh, have played at the top level so this is nothing new to either of these combinations and uh, we're in for a great match certainly are Yu Yang was the women's doubles gold medalist 2008 Beijing alongside Du Jin won the bronze in mixed doubles as well three-time world champion so you would think that she will be the leader of the Chinese team so much experience yeah incredible um, record by Yu Yang she's uh, done it all at um, at the top level Olympics world championships and here she is again out in a uh, semi-final contest uh, and I'm sure that um, she'll be ready to go She's looking very relaxed there, trying to relax her partner. And teamed up over the last couple of years. About to get underway. Semi-final of the women's doubles. Denmark against China. Nice block by Yu Yang to the front of the court. Well, it's a good start, a confident start by the Chinese pair. Tan Yuan Ting there, always uh, working hard at the back of the court. Good variation with the smash and then uh, the control around the, the cross court on the net. Nicely played. Oh. Just missing that interception at the net, uh, Yu Yang. Set up for it. 
Well, she missed this one, but she has quite a presence on the court. Three-time world champion in doubles. And that was a bit wide. So a couple of errors from Yu Yang. And the Danes to get into the game, get some scores on the board. And a good attack by Ruti Yule. Just following her shuttle in, backing herself, moving forward. Again, Rudy Yule with the attack down through the centre of the court, channeling that shuttle in between the players, reducing the angles. Clever play. Had one win apiece when they've faced each other, these teams, both back in 2013. So really, you'd have to think it's anybody's match here today. And with so much at stake, it will be how the players handle the emotions yeah, so I'll be very aware of their game styles coming into this match. They would have done all their preparation and planning. And that one looks like it's uh, dropped on the line. Or is it just, no, just long. So good judgment by the Danes. Oh, it's an error off the serve. So important to keep the consistency of the serve. Nice and flat, but that's a pressure situation. Yeah, nicely done by Tang Yang Ting. Just keeping the shuttle flat, keeping it low, just below the tape. Finishing nicely. Oh, this is a very tight opening set the early stages here of the semi-final yeah, terrific work by Yu Yang read the flick well and then uh, got in good position kept the attack and then kept moving forward again placing the shuttle down between her opposition you can see the confusion there nicely done Front, point, front court play by the Danes. So important in the doubles to be able to try and control the front court, to be able to, to dominate when you can around the net. It sets up so many points for you. Well, good judgment. So Again, going for that shot down the middle. Yeah, and you can see Tan Yan Ting, she's always looking to, to press and move move the shuttle down and, and move forward, try and get that front position. But um, you've just got to be careful. You've got to mix it up with the pace. You've got to be able to vary the shuttle and block to the front of the court as well. James, they are making inroads here. Two-point buffer now, 9-7. Yeah, a nice smash by Peterson. Back of the court. Again, bringing that shuttle down through the middle, reducing the angle.
And what a recovery from Rutu Hill early in that point. Incredible court coverage. Yeah, she certainly did cover a lot of ground there and kept the shuttle in play. And then that transition back into attack again. And then again, attacking down through the middle of the court. It's working well, setting up for the, the opportunities at the front court. Great recovery. But she couldn't do it again. Tremendous get from Rudy Yule once more. Good smashing at the back of the court again by Tan Yang Ting. She does a lot of the work at the back. Keeping that shuttle down, trying to keep the attack. It's been good defence by the Danes. Just clarifying who's going to be taking the serve here out of the Chinese combination. The dance with a 10 8 lead. Tremendous defence from the Danish team. 11 points to 8, they lead. Chinese team of Tang and Yu started that game very smartly, but it was the Danes who charged back to take an 11 8 lead. Really good interception on the on the front court by Ruth Yule. They are moving so well around the court. Yeah, combining well, always setting up for one another at the front court. Some really nice play by the Danes. just not able to control that return and this is where it's so important in the doubles is that third shot it's the serve the return of serve and controlling that third shot and it sets up so much play in the doubles matches that's a beautiful return of serve superb just in between the players keeping it flat and low some quality badminton on those first three shots is so important Dane's doing it really well had some good results in the final at the Indian Open Super Series 
in the All England tournament this year. Oh, it's dropped in. What a magnificent shot, taking the shuttle high to the net and getting the reward. Brilliant play. Snappy movement around the court. Good defence. And then quickly in. What placement? Just out of the reach of uh, Tang Yuan Yu Ting. Combining superbly out here, the Danes, reigning European champions, silver medalists at the 2015 World Championships. So, a challenge call. We just have to wait to see what the result will be. Score well, before this challenge is 15 9 in favour of the Danish team. Has that taken the line? So the teams, here we go. It's just out. The challenge has been unsuccessful. And the Danes are with the serve. 16-9. Patterson and Ruta, you're leading opening game. Well, certainly going all their way at the moment. Playing some excellent badminton. Fault serve called on Ruta Yule this time. And the shuttle has been struck too high. The shuttle must be struck below the waist in badminton. Opportunity now for the Chinese pair. Well, they're going so well, the Danes just letting them off the hook a bit a with that bit, error. Because you could feel the momentum was just all the Danes' way. It's whether they can maintain it here. Oh, it's just missing the line, but. The con how she constructed that point was perfect. She had it all set up. Great little block, but just wide. And his team desperate to try and stay in touch. 11-16. Five points deficit. Worked by Yu Yang, following her own shuttle in, back, backing herself. It's a nice control to the front court. So a good run of points here for the Chinese pair. Well left. And there's a challenge on that one as well. Well, the Danes seem to think they've made the right judgment call here. Let's see. Again, very, very close to the line. Well, it's interesting. Yu Yang put the finger straight up. From my understanding, it looked like without challenging, but no. Continues now.
what a point. And that is a big blow that the Danish team have just struck in winning that long point. A sensational rally. Again, great variation in control at the front of the court. By the Danish pairing, keeping the shuttle nice and low on the blocks, keeping it flat, allowing that one to go out the back. Nicely done. lead they have built again here six points they lead by 18 12 Missed that one at the front court. Rudy Yule. She's in good position. They communicate well, the Danish team. They're always encouraging each other. When they lose the point, a bit of a smile, but they do have a good lead here, mind you. Turn off the serve, just keeping that pressure on the Chinese pair. Matches the best of three 21 point games. Pedersen and Rudy Yul, three points. points potentially from the first oh, great cross-court smash lovely slice on that shuttle coming down with a lot of angle played again Chinese pair backing themselves moving forward and taking the front court Yang the serve taking their time to get set here playing some good consecutive points here the Chinese pair He's in the building here trying to get back into this first game Yu Yang using all the experience that she has judgment at the back of the court Brave, really it was very close bringing up game points for the Danes 
instructions from the leader of the Chinese pair, Yu Yang. No one going long. And again, good judgment from the Danes. And it's Christina Pedersen and Camilla Rutuyul who take the opening game of this semi final. 21 points to 16. You already an Olympic gold medalist. Also has a bronze from the mixed in 2008. That is wonderful play by the Danes. Again, taking up that front court position, putting the pressure on, and then great variation of the front court here with the block. Sees the opening, just drops it in front of the, the Chinese pair. Lovely work. Had some good results together already, Tang and Yu. Tang making her Olympic debut 
But in 2016, won the Malaysian Open Super Series together, runner-up at the Indonesian Open, semi-finalist at the Australian Open Super Series. And it was there they lost to the Indonesian pair, who they defeated here in the quarterfinals. So they have been in very good form coming through to this semi. Well, the flick serve's been called in. So a little bit of misjudgment there by Ruta Yul. Good run of points here for the Chinese now. A couple of errors. One on judgment. And then just a return of serve into the net. It's come by Peterson. Oh, a little bit extra on that last smash. Yeah, just keeping the pressure on the Chinese pair. Firstly, Pedersen, and then a nice finish by Ruti Yul. You just putting the hand up, asking for some extra time. Great work by Yu Yang at the front of the court there. Some wonderful interceptions, just keeping that front court pressure. Almost in some trouble here on the last lift. Just and so quick. Very, very quick reflexes. Great work. Business like around the front court. Again, great net play. Perfect serve, and then that third shot, so tight to the net with the net roll. Magnificent. Look at the finesse here, just rolls over the net. <laughs> Six three. Easy put away in the end by Pedersen. With the indecision by the Chinese at the back of the court, letting the shuttle float high, and easy put away. Yu Yang just misjudging it, saying, whoops, that one's in. It's uh, way too late and too loose. Good placement. Well, the only Chinese pair in the semi final lineup, Tang and Yu. So you think a lot of expectations, hopes, pressure from China for them to come through because China have been so dominant in this women's doubles event at the Olympics. Only failed to win the gold medal on one occasion. won the women's doubles at the last five Olympic Games. It's an impressive record, isn't it? Certainly is. And of course, Yang, part of that in Beijing, alongside Du Jing. Now, 
Great variation at the front court again by Yu Yang. She's really got herself foremost in the action in this second game. Really dominating. Yeah, really directing play from the front of the court here. Taking the shuttle nice and high. Great variation with the block. Slicing that shuttle down too sharply. Dane's just a little bit off the pace, but an opportunity here to get back into this second game. And it's important that they move now. Bettison with the serve. Nicely done. That's that third shot. Interception. At the front of the court, very effective. Bit of housekeeping. Yeah, it's interesting because um, you know, when you're serving too, you, you've got that little bit of momentum and you win a point and you're looking to, to build it, these little breaks can impact on the players. So a very smart time to ask for a clean-up on Yu Yang's behalf. Lost the last two points, the Chinese. A oh, little neck cord, just enough. Now it's the Danes starting to build some momentum. <laughs> Great block. Wonderful play and variation. Clever. Smash down the line and just a block into the open court by Tang Yu Yuan Ting. Nicely done. Just looking for those spaces in the court. So important in the doubles. Move your opponents around and try and look for the, the, the open spaces at the front of the court. And that one's dropped in. Well, a real run there for the Chinese coming back to lead 2nd game of the semi-final. The Danes took the opening game and trail 7-11 in the second. Yu of China serving. And again, a service fault on Yu Yang. Struck the shuttle. I was dreaming that she struck the shuttle above her waist. Could be a very costly lapse 
on Yu's behalf because she really has started the second game so well, really dominating, and then just making the error on the serve. Suddenly it's changed things a little bit here. Yeah, there's all those, those little sways of momentum one way and then the other. Danes now have an opportunity. Good judgment on that occasion. Shuttle going long. Well, some strong hitting at the back of the court by Tan Yang Ting. Working very hard. One side to the other. Strong smash through the middle. Well played. Four point margin for Tang and Yu. Dane's still got the smile. Control from the Chinese pair. Yeah, just some nice flat exchanges at the net there. Rudy Yu just stepping forward, trying to keep the pressure on. Find some way to lift here. Pedersen and Ruti Yul. The Chinese pair leading by six points. That one driven out the back. A few more errors creeping into their game. Yeah, it's just just con trying to keep some control in the rallies, but uh, Tang and Yu Yang, they're keeping the pressure on. They're looking to attack, taking the opportunities where they can at the front court, putting a lot of pressure on the Danes. attack. Tang Yuan Ting keeping the pressure down through the centre of the court, reducing the angles and setting up for a partner. Well, they've really targeted the backhand side of the Danes with a left-handed, right-handed combination off in the backhands down the middle there. Confusion. <laughs> Tan Yuan Ting wanting to take Yu Yang's shuttle there. Nicely played by the Danes though. Again, just a little bit of variation. Bring the shuttle down into the front court. It's a clever play. I just wonder how that misunderstanding will affect the Chinese pair. Well, they'll be right. Got, they've got a handy lead. Pounce. Yeah. A good put away at the front court. The loose shot was there for the taking.
Just an error off the return of serve. This is very interesting. They had a seven point lead. And now it has been reduced to only four. Here's yeah, some good service serving by Pedersen. Well, it was a good run. But now the Chinese. Are only three points away from taking this second game and leveling it up. That was a vital point, that last one, just when the Danes had a bit of pressure building. Oh, beautiful serve by Yu Yang. This judgment by the Danes, costly. Shot again, down through the middle, creating that confusion. And so those, that little bit of variation in the tack. It's the important thing in women's doubles, getting them to move off their base or their set position. And changing the pace on that last shot, good variety. Twenty fourteen game points for Tang and Yu of China. And they seal it on their first twenty one points to fourteen. The semi final is all tied up one game all. We will go into a decider. One game all in the women's doubles semi-final. The Danes, Pedersen and Rudy Yul taking the first. And Tang and Yu of China striking back for the second. Deciding game to see who will go through to the gold medal match. It's really interesting in the second game the Danes had a few chances to come back but they really dropped off a few errors but it was really Yu Yang the senior member of the Chinese team who dominated a 
good attack there by Rudy Yule, stepping in, following her shuttle, and then switching from one player to the next. Nice play. Yeah, Yu Yang in that second game, you can see that she started to control the front court, control the play. She had some good backup at the backcourt by Tang Yu, Yuan Ting, and you can see that the, the Danes were just trying to overpress some of their shots, trying to reverse the put the um, flow of the game but um, in the end Chinese were too strong in that second game but this will all sets up for a very interesting third and final game oh, I'm just going long Chinese are the number two ranked team in the world. The Danes, number six. What an unbelievable point from all the players. There's some great rallying there. And the Danes very, very aware of the front court and where Yu Yang was in that rally, trying to keep the shuttle deep, moving from corner to corner and looking then to move forward when they had the opportunity. So they're now looking to, to, to defend back deep and then move to the net when they have the opportunity. And a nice lead for Pedersen and Rudy Yule in this deciding game. Four points to one. The work ahead of the favourites out here. Danish pair. Yu Yang trying to encourage her partner. Again, when the Chinese pair are set up with Yu Yang at the front, that's when they're the most dom dominant. Good point from them. They needed it. Clever attack by the Danes again, setting up for each other at the front of the court. Well put away. Great recovery here by Tan Yang Tin to keep in the rally. But it was consistent, controlled attack by the Danish pair that came out in the end. 
Pleased with that one and the lead they've built here, 6-2. Quite a bit of tension, I'm sure, out here with a place in the gold medal match at stake. A guaranteed medal for the winners of this match. High expectations for the Chinese, of course, who have done so well in this event. Good judgment again at the back of the court. So the Danes, what they're doing is they're, they're controlling the, the attack that they put in play. They're very measured on their shots, a lot better than they were in that second game where sometimes they're just trying to overforce and, and uh, play a shot that wasn't there. So good play. And they're off the return. That's costly. Certainly is a really good buffer here for the Danes. Five points leading in the deciding game. Again, Yu Yan looking for the court to be wiped. Now that's experience again, just trying to break the momentum of the opponents. Of course, you don't want a slippery court either. No, it's a fine line between making sure that the court is safe, but also making sure the play is continuous. Good smash through the middle. Six serve as well, red. So the Chinese have the serve back. Still four points adrift. Again, good communication from the Danes. <laughs> oh, magnificent block to the front court. That's the control and variation. Lovely. Super play. And we've talked about the expectations for the Chinese. What about what is the prize for the Danes? Again, good judgment on the back court. No European team has ever won a medal in women's doubles. Great play. Really aggressive. Seeing that opportunity and grabbing it for an 11-4 lead.
Danish pair of Christina Pedersen and Camilla Ruta Yul in a very good position in the deciding game. 11 4, they lead the team of Tang and Yu of China. At stake, a place in the final. The gold medal match. Good pressure by the Chinese, straight off the serve, pouncing on the shuttle, keeping the pressure and making the Danes lift the shuttle. Yeah, the Chinese need to go now if they're going to make a run to get back into this game. They'll be looking to take the opportunity to take the shuttle high at every chance they have. Good smash down the line. Lovely play. Aruta Yule. It. She had constructed the point so well. From defence into attack, she just overplayed it. That's where you just got to maintain your control. points build and so does the pressure this Chinese team will not go away uh, been well down in this game Yu Yang a very experienced campaigner Serve and and uh, third shot by Yu Yang. And she's starting to step up again at that front court. Take control. Danes need to be very careful here. Judgment there. The serves dropped in. Some good serving by Yu Yang. Just on a roll. You can see that, feel that momentum change now. Four consecutive points to the Chinese pair. The Danes have got to be feeling a little concerned. And they break that run against them in style. Yeah, nicely played. Nice little controlled block at the front court. Set up that point for the Danish pair. Interception at the front court by Yu Yang again. As this match has progressed, she's really inserted herself into the action. And very central out there. Dominant. by Ruta Yule, keeping the pressure on the front court. Nice 
tap through the middle. One side of the body, then the other of you, Yan. Fourteen ten, the Danes lead. Deciding game. Great interception on the third shot. Quality play. Nice serve. Covering the side well. Very experienced pair. Ruta Yul and Pedersen. Combined very well for a long time. Reigning European champions. Silver medalists at the World Championships. Huge moments for them out here. And they're stepping up. A great smash by Pedersen. Cross court. He's cutting that shuttle down sharply. They are the lower ranked team out here at number six in the world. The Chinese number two. And you'd have to say the favourites going into this match overwhelmingly. There's certainly two very experienced and uh, uh, teams here out on the court. And... Uh, Danes now with a very handy lead. Yeah, nice placement. Got control at the front court. They've got the attack. No idea smashing through the middle, but just hitting the tape. So a bit of a let off there for the Chinese pairing. Only four points the difference now. The veteran gold medalist in Beijing serving. Every point so precious at the moment in the closing stages of this set. Can the Chinese come back here? And importantly, can the Danes hold their nerve, not think about the finishing line and what's at stake? A guaranteed medal. Judgment at the back of the court there by Tang Yang Ting. Bit of pressure on Tang here. But she holds her nerve, keeps the serve. And narrows the margin to only three points. Yeah, again, pressing from the net. It's so important to keep the control. And the third shot. Set up everything for you. little net roll at the front court by Ruta Yule. Wonderful 
variation just taking the pace off the shuttle here look at that superb work great touch taking the Danes to within three points of victory this would be huge Denmark have never won a medal in women's doubles or women's singles only in the mixed and that was Christina Pedersen a bronze medal in the mixed doubles in London Danes now only two points away from victory. Bit of a concerned look on the face of Yu Yang. She knows they are up against it here. Oh, just missing the top of the tape there. Well, it had a look almost like it was going to dribble over. on the serve brilliant attack from the Danish pair takes them to match points Five opportunities to go through to play for the gold medal. This would be historic. Two Danish women have won bronze medals. Christina Pedersen in the mixed in London, alongside Fischer Nielsen and Mette Scholdager, also in the mixed alongside Jens Eriksson. but not in the women's doubles. And if they can convert one of these match points, they will have a guaranteed medal and the opportunity of a gold. challenge on the serve it's like it's uh, been called as a short serve short of the line but we're now going to go to the review on oh, this is a huge moment it could be the match the Danes appealing this and just waiting for the outcome The result of this review will either see them winning the match. No. So it's deemed short, short of the line. So good judgment on the Chinese. They're still in this. But still four match points for the Danes. A little net roll. Unbelievable. So fortunate there for Tang and you hanging into this match by a thread. Absolutely nothing that the Danes could do about that. 17 20 the score. Saved another one. Well, 
The tension builds now for the Danish pair as well. They will want to convert this one. Seeing those go by, the tension has to build for them. Fourth match point for Pedersen and Ritigil. And again, they cannot make the most of the opportunity. So hard to get across the finish line. History beckoning them. And the Chinese fighting hard here. Still another match point against them. from Denmark coming through they will play for the gold medal Christina Patterson and Camilla Rutiul tears of joy as they cause a huge upset here wow well, what a way to win it 21-19 in the decider so many match points were saved by the Chinese. And then the relief of the Danes. Well, great effort from Yu Yang and Tang Yuan Ting taking this so close. They will be shattered, but for the Danes, they have made history. They are guaranteed either a silver or a gold medal. They will play for the gold in the final. 21-19. 